My name is Archbishop Tabo Makoba. Welcome to Bishop's Court. Let us say the collect for the week together. Almighty God, your Son has shown us how to love one another. Let our love for you overflow into joyful service and be a healing witness to our neighbors. Through Jesus Christ, our Lord, who lives and reigns with you and the Holy Spirit, one God, now and forevermore. Amen. Let us listen to a portion of Psalm 144 together. Listen to the good news proclaimed in the Gospel according to St. Luke, the 19th chapter, beginning from the 31st verse. At that very hour, some Pharisees came and said to him, Get away from here, for Herod wants to kill you. He said to them, Go and tell that fox for me. Listen. I am casting out demons and performing cures today and tomorrow, and on the third day, I finish my work. Yet today, tomorrow, and the next day, I must be on my way because it is impossible for a prophet to be killed outside of Jerusalem. Jerusalem, Jerusalem, the city that kills the prophets, and stones those who are sent to it. How often have I desired to gather your children together as a hen gathers her brood under her wings, and you are not willing. See, your house is left to you. I tell you, you will not see me until the time comes when you say, Blessed is the one who comes in the name of the Lord. It is not clear whether the Pharisees who want Jesus to flee from Herod were friends honestly warning him, 
or hypocrites acting in collusion with Herod in a sly trick to try to frighten Jesus away. Whether the case Jesus had nothing but contempt for how John the Baptist had been murdered and for Herod's threat. Of this, Jesus was sh sure that he would, as one translation has it, attain his end. That as appropriate for a prophet, he would fulfill his divinely appointed mission in Jerusalem where he would go at God's appointed time, suffer and die, thus achieving perfection. But in expressing his determination to go until he achieves his end, he cannot but voice his distress at how the city which had persistently rejected the messengers of God could find itself locked out of the kingdom. That a temple in Jerusalem would be empty of God's presence and not see Jesus until it was prepared to welcome him as judge. Appropriately here, the psalm contrasts the greatness of God with the insig insignificance of human beings emphasizing that we can be saved only through the power of the creator over the created world. 